talking weather right now. It's going to be a pretty pleasant day. If you're heading to the state fair, you should be good to go, but it's those later nighttime hours you have to worry about. And I think by the tail end of the state fair, we could start to have some impacts, but I wouldn't cancel plans to hit yeah. the state fair today. It's going to be a lot cooler than yesterday, still muggy, but there's big changes in the forecast between now and this time tomorrow morning. A flood watch is in effect or goes into effect rather at one o'clock tomorrow morning through 10 o'clock in the morning. That's because there is a very good likelihood that we will have heavy rain across much of our area. Some places within this watch area could see more than two inches of rain, and that's why there are going to be flooding concerns in low lying areas and areas that are prone to flooding. Rain does look like it starts to wind down and move out before the lunch hour tomorrow. So tomorrow's not a washout either, but we could have some pretty big impacts in terms of flooding between now and then. The other thing that I'm watching late this evening and overnight tonight is the potential for some stronger storms as well. Hail and gusty winds, those are going to be the biggest concern. So a potential for some small hail and some winds up to about 60 or 65 miles per hour. I do think the biggest concern in terms of severe weather, in terms of weather impacts, is going to be the flooding with the heavy rain that moves in late today. So if you're headed to the state fair again, I don't think you need to change those plans. Gates open at 10 o'clock. We'll be close to 75 degrees, 74 degrees at four. It is still going to be muggy, but it's not going to be nearly as warm as it was yesterday. 68 degrees by 10 o'clock and it's by 10 that we'll be really keeping an eye on the potential for some of the heavy rain to be working its way into southeastern Wisconsin. There's a big cool down on the way. We were up in the 80s to near 90 yesterday. 78 degrees for high today. It's still going to be on the muggy side. Much, much cooler tomorrow, and it will be dry for the afternoon. Then take a look at the rest of the seven day forecast. Temperatures are going to hang out in the mid and upper 70s, right around 80 degrees on Friday. Dew points will not be nearly as high, but we have a really active next 24 to 36 hours before that spectacular stretch of weather moves in. And it's all thanks to this frontal system that's just going to stay draped over southeastern Wisconsin and over the state for the next couple of days. A few storms are trying to pop up in Racine and Kenosha County, and that's a trend that I'm going to keep a really close eye on between now and about eight or nine o'clock. You can see those firing up on future cast this morning, but by six, seven o'clock, they're out over Lake Michigan. Then we'll keep an eye on the complex that's farther off to our northwest right now that could bring just a few showers in later this morning. The better chance for on and off showers through the day today is going to be across Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties with the heaviest rain north of this front closer to Rhinelander and the Twin Cities. But this front is drifting south and with it, the heavy rain will move in overnight tonight. But before we get there, we could see some stronger storms develop south of the warm front later this evening. This is at eight o'clock. This model has storms off to our southwest. There's a chance that they could be just a little bit farther north. And if we see these late evening, early night storms, they could be strong to severe. Here's 10 o'clock, still some stronger storms south of Milwaukee. And then that area of heavy rain moves in. It moves through. It could impact us through about 10, 11 or noon tomorrow. But I do think most of the daylight hours on Tuesday are dry across southeastern Wisconsin. But before we get there, there will be heavy rain. Some places like the Twin Cities north of La Crosse, there could be two to three inches of rain. Most of us see an inch to an inch and a half, but I do think there could be some isolated pockets across our northern counties that could see two or more inches of rain by about 10 or 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. The best news with the forecast though. We're muggy today, but watch how dew points drop heading into tomorrow afternoon. Then we're going to stay on the pretty comfortable side even as we head into the weekend. If you want to hit the fair today, most of the day is dry. If you want to hit the fair tomorrow, most of the day is dry. I need to fix that camera. It's a little bit blurry, but it's 77 degrees in Milwaukee. It is really muggy as you're stepping out the door. 78 for a high today, 72 for a high tomorrow. Most of today and tomorrow are dry, but we'll have bookend rain chances today and rain chances tomorrow morning. That heavy rain is most likely overnight tonight, so we could have some flooding concerns around the area for the morning commute on your Tuesday. Then a really nice dry stretch. Take a look at that. It is hard to beat this time of the year. We're talking mid to upper 80s, upper 70s to right around 80 degrees Wednesday through Sunday. Looking like a great weekend. We just got to get there. We just got to <laughs> get through the next 36 hours and then it should yeah. be really, really nice and a nice change from last week's very muggy weather. Absolutely. Molly, thank you.